In science, engineering, and mathematics, the four main types of numbers used in computation are integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and complex numbers. In Mathematica and the Wolfram language, the four built-in types of numbers are integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and complex numbers. Popular languages like C++, Java, Python, and JavaScript do not have these types built in. However, the Wolfram language has had these numeric types since 1988, when version 1.0 was released. An impressive example of the design that has gone into the Wolfram language. An integer is just a whole number. As you type in an integer, a small space is inserted between each block of three digits. This is because some people use commas as separators, while others use periods. To avoid any confusion, a space is a nice compromise to use. If you would prefer to use a comma or a period, you can set this in the preferences. If you raise this integer to the 20th power, you will see that the exact result is given. Since it requires more than one line to display, a three-dot symbol is used to let you know the output continues on the next line. Another way to type an exponent is by pressing Control caret. When you are done typing the exponent, press the right arrow and execute the command. A rational number is a fraction where the numerator and denominator are both integers. To enter a fraction in a friendly form, first type the numerator, then press Control forward slash, and finally enter the denominator. Press the right arrow to leave fraction typing mode and evaluate the input. You can now use this rational number in a computation, and Mathematica gives the exact output. Any expression with rational numbers using the standard four arithmetic operations will always return another rational number. It is worth pointing out that an integer is also a rational number, because any integer can be written as a fraction with denominator 1. A real number is any number that has zero or more digits after the decimal point. While you can type as many digits as you need, the output is typically truncated. You can see all of the digits by using the function full form. Scientific notation is the standard way to write very large, or very small, real numbers. Because it is used so commonly, there is a shorthand way to write a number in scientific notation. Simply leave out the 10 and write times caret. It should be noted that integers are a subset of the rational numbers, and every rational number is also a real number. If you write a fraction as a decimal, it will either terminate or eventually have a repeating block. Mathematica has had built-in support for complex numbers from day one. If you take the square root of negative one, you get i. Notice how the i is displayed. The double stroke lets you know you are working with the square root of negative one and not the letter i. To type in the square root of negative one, hit escape, I, I, escape. You can also use a capital I for the square root of negative one. To extract the real part of the complex number Z, just use the RE function. And for the imaginary part, use the IM function. We've seen that integers are a subset of the rational numbers, and the rationals are a subset of the reals. Well, the real numbers are a subset of the complex numbers. This is because any real number is just a complex number with an imaginary part of zero. Unlike some other programming languages, Mathematica and the Wolfram language do not have any size limits built in. However, your computer does not have an infinite amount of memory, so every system will have its own size limit. 
To find the maximum number that can be represented on your particular system, look at the value of dollar sign max number. And to find the minimum possible number, enter dollar sign min number. If you try to enter a number larger than max number, Mathematica will output an overflow. And if you try to enter a number smaller than min number, Mathematica will return an underflow. Learning Mathematica and the Wolfram language requires more than YouTube. You will need sample notebooks, exercises, and short example videos. Socratica is here to help. We are building a course to help you become a pro with the Wolfram computational platform. For updates, please join our Mathematica mailing list on our website, socratica.com.